Hello and welcome. Today we'll be talking about how to apply for college admission. This information will apply to first-time college students registering for college after high school. Before you begin, please be sure to have all this information ready. Your personal email that you regularly check, your birth date, permanent address, and social security number if you have one. To get started, visit the link on the screen. This link will also be provided in the description. If you are a returning user, then you will select the sign in button. Let's start your application for admission. In your application for admission, you will see the navigation menu on the left hand side. This will let you know which portion of the application you are completing at any time. On the enrollment tab, you will enter the term you are planning on enrolling in at Cabrillo. For the next three categories, please note that there is no wrong answer. You'll enter your educational goal, your intended major category, and your intended major or program of study. On the profile tab, you'll be asked if you had a previous name. Here you can also enter your social security number if you have one. Otherwise, select no, I do not have a social security number. Then you'll enter your current mailing address, and you also have the option to select if you're using the same mailing address as you entered in your account creation. In the education tab, you will enter your enrollment status. If you are enrolling as a first-time college student, you will select first-time student in college after leaving high school. And then in the high school education tab, you will enter received high school diploma from US school or whichever situation may apply to you. Next, you will select the last school you attended, the country and state it's located in. Then you will type the name of the high school and select it from a drop down list. Below that, you will enter your high school transcript information. You will enter the highest grade level you have completed in high school, as well as your average GPA on a 4.0 scale. After you entered your estimated GPA, you will enter the highest level of English and math you have completed and the letter grade you received in each. After completing the education portion, you will move on to the citizenship and military portion. Answer these questions to the best of your ability. After you complete the citizenship questions, you'll be moving on to the residency section. Here you will be asked a question about your California residence. You will be selecting what situation applies to you in regards of out-of-state activities, as well as a special residency question about foster care. The Needs and Interests section will be asking you if you're comfortable with reading and writing in English, or if you need financial assistance. You can answer these questions however you like, but you can also skip this section if you're unsure how to answer. When it comes to athletic interests, as a first-time college student, be aware that to be an athlete, you must be enrolled in at least 12 units to be eligible. Next is Program and Services. Here you can select tutoring online classes, academic counseling, or anything else that might be of interest to you. Next, you'll be asked personal information questions such as your gender, sexual orientation. You can enter information or decline the state. You'll be asked to list your parent or guardian's highest level of education. If you are uncertain, you can select unknown. Please answer the race and ethnicity questions as best to your ability. You must answer the supplemental questions to the best of your ability. If you are over the age of 24, you can skip the supplemental questions. Moving on to submission, you can save the application as a PDF for your records. Please read the Request for Consent and Release Information section carefully. Then, select if you consent or do not consent. Check both boxes to say you are providing information that is true to the best of your knowledge. Then you can select the Submit My Application button. After you submit your application, you will be sent to a confirmation page. It will take 24 to 48 hours for a confirmation email from Cabrillo to be sent to you.